just a few weeks left to catch the O's in the regular season at Camden Yards. So if you're going to a game this week, what's the best day to do it? Well, I'm going to tell you it's going to be the games that are later this week, Wednesday through Friday and this weekend. I know they play the Rays on Saturday. I'll be at that game and I'm going to make sure the weather is the best on that day. <laughs> but I'm just a little biased. We likely continue, though, our more unsettled pattern as we get into the start of the work week. Likely a lesser chance for rain tomorrow, but then we kind of escalate that into Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures eventually fall, though, so if you have been enjoying the low 80s, we likely get to the upper 70s and low 80s towards the rest of the week, and dry skies likely continue. But temperatures continue to remain in the low 70s. This is likely what we wake up to tomorrow, and eventually as we get into the day, we'll add about 10 degrees to that. But showers continue to bubble up, and we are starting to see them escalate a bit more across the bay, especially as they move to the eastern shore. We do get some breaks late tonight into tomorrow. I do expect us to see some fog early tomorrow as well, but we just have so much moisture continuing to plume over top of us. Hopefully we get a break with that, but it looks like the more permanent break likely comes later on into the week. But starting off on your Monday, mid 70s to start us off, and then you see the showers and storms likely bubbling up. They'll likely move from west to east throughout the day. That'll help cool temperatures. We likely stay in the mid 80s, likely get a little bit warmer than that for your Tuesday, but we do see, of course, a little bit more rain as well. Starting off Tuesday, low 70s, maybe some upper 60s here at the Mason Dixon line. So a bit cooler out there. You see the showers bubble up once again, some afternoon run of the mill thunderstorms. No elevated areas of severe weather for now, but that's something we will have to pay attention to. We do need the rain. We are still in drought, so any rain is good rain and we will take it. Of course, the tropics are continuing to heat up, still keeping an eye out on Lee and we also have Margo in the Atlantic and two areas that we are keeping an eye on that could potentially see some greater improvements later into the week. But Lee still a category three storm as of the latest update. Lee likely continues to move out into the Atlantic in the cone still has it out to sea. Of course, the latest impacts keep it away from Maryland. We could get a bit breezy towards next weekend, but I still think we see pretty dry skies because we have our trough that likely continues to protect us into next week. And of course, it's also going to cool the air around us as we do see a lot of that impact. So if you're looking for cooler temperatures, likely upper 70s, a little bit more fall like maybe some 50s in the evenings. Well, it's right around the corner and you can even see that on the seven day forecast, a shower for some tomorrow. Most of us remain dry. It likely see the temperatures fall into next week and then eventually much drier skies.